One, two, and three. Welcome to my channel, Rome with Jeep. Today marks the first year anniversary of my channel. I started it last year during the pandemic. I converted my two-door Jeep Wrangler into a Jeep camper twice. As you'll see in the video that follows, you'll see the way it looked like before, and you'll see what it looks like now. I also want to thank all of my subscribers and all of my friends for help supporting my channel and for also donating for these awesome shirts that I made. This is my very own design and they sold out within three days. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank Global Threads in Dallas for making these awesome shirts for me. And also I want to thank Trevor, Life of Trevor. If you guys don't know who he is, he is another YouTuber that I met during, um, I think it was during January or February of this year. Uh, was an amazing time to meet up with him and his family and all that stuff. We just had a great Jeep Adventures out in Oklahoma. I'm going to be making a trip to Colorado next week. It's going to be a four day trip. I'm going to go to a buddy's wedding. Nick and Anna, I love you guys. I can't wait to see y'all get married. Uh, but yeah, I'll be headed out to their wedding. In the meantime, I'm going to have a few days to do what I do best and that is camping and exploring nature. I will be working on new things. Music is going to be one of them. In the meantime, hope you guys enjoy this video. And if there's any ideas that you guys have, please let me know. And I look forward to sharing with you guys new content, uh, completely new stuff. Of course, it's me traveling also. Did you know that I also used to paint? Did you see the cross? A shout out to all of my subscribers. Heck yeah, y'all are making it happen. And this is The Righteous and the Wicked, the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers cover band I was in. And we had such an amazing time. Uh, we did a lot of things. We played uh, at a bunch of gigs everywhere. We played at baseball games, sandwich shops, <laughs> and uh, Best Buy, Red Cross, you name it. We just were all over the place. It was an amazing experience. I got to learn a lot about myself and the public and all that stuff so and I also want to send a shout out to Ralph because Ralph always would uh, be at our shows and he, he was always supporting us and then I decided to move to Texas with one of my best friends and it's been awesome and that's where I started my YouTube channel Rome with Jeep and today marks the first year anniversary yeehaw and here is my Jeep smash um, now, I did start my uh, Jeep conversion with a flat bed at the top and the bottom was just com a complete storage. Lots of storage. The only problem with that is I accumulated a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't really use. It was impractical. So I decided to go back to the drawing board. Uh, I had the old frame and I, I was really brainstorming of what I could do to make this Jeep a better camper, like a true camper and a better experience to be inside it instead of outside it most of the time. So I got a pencil and a piece of paper and I just drew out my idea. And uh, yeah, so I just started from there. So I basically started with a blank canvas. So I built the uh, subframe platform. It, was, it wasn't very hard to do because I already had it in my mind how I wanted it. And then uh, I decided to build a counter for the inside as well. Uh, at first I thought I wouldn't have enough room for that, but uh, as you can see, there was plenty of room to add a counter. And then uh, the, bed, the bed platform as well. I did that and it was really turning out really well. I was a bit nervous, but I just went with the flow. And then waterproof vinyl flooring. That was an addition I decided to do because uh, it rains here a lot in Texas as of late. So if it were to get wet, I didn't want the floor to warp or get damaged, so I put the uh, vinyl flooring on there. And then from there, I decided to stain it. So I stained the legs, and then I gathered all the panels together, and I pretty much just stained everything. And the stain did come a little too dark. Uh, or it stained a little too dark. I didn't want it that dark. I kind of wanted it more of a natural type of uh, black wash, but that was okay. But then I put it in the Jeep and it matched the interior really well. And so I decided to start with the staging process um, as far as like, how am I gonna set it up 
what color interior do I want it to look like, you know, and um, yeah. And I was really proud of the design and I decided to also extend the body of the bed. That way I can actually fit in there. So I started out with burlap and some LED lights. I had some window panel, uh, paneling. Uh, those didn't turn out right because they kept falling off, the Velcro kept unsticking. And um, I added a four inch memory foam bed and with the burlap cushion, all of the stuff I designed and I cut out and, and made. And I sewed all these pillows together as well. And then it was starting to come together. So and this is what it looks like. Thus, Roam with Jeep was born. And recently I came out with some merch. Uh, these are the colors of the shirts that I had. They all sold out in three days. Woo! And these shirts look really cool with jeans. And I have this awesome fall shirt prototype coming out in the fall, so look out for that. This marks my 48th video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all my thumbnails. Most of the videos have them, and I think there are a few that didn't have thumbnails, so yeah, let's go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Rome with